So I called you up because God wants to use you as a contact point for your family. Amen. As we were praying, uh, God impressed it on me uh, to pray for you. Amen. Okay. Now, in the spirit, I saw two problems that God needs to solve. Two serious problems. Okay. The first one was very interesting, and it surprised me because I was trying to understand what happened. But I saw an implication spiritually against you. There is an event that happened, and that event is affecting you now, but you may not even know it. This is what I saw. Professor. I saw paperwork put in court, and this paperwork that was put in court was like something to do with some crime or that kind of thing. Yes. Like something either was stolen or something like that. Yes. But this is a while ago, it is not right now. No. Huh? No, no, no. Happened but years ago. It happened years ago. Yeah, but school. I'm seeing this case is not just opened physically because I'm seeing in the physical it looks like the thing was settled, but spiritually it was not settled. Okay. How long ago did this happen? High school, like in high school. Yeah. Clap for Jesus. So I saw this event because the angel of the Lord opened my eyes because he wanted, first of all, to bring healing to somebody first. Okay. But before the healing, he wanted to deal with you first. Okay. To make sure that this case thing will also be closed spiritually because this is part of the reason why there's a lot of limitations to you physically. Wow. No matter what you try to do, it's not really working, working at all. At all. That's because not only... Can I tell you the truth, truth? You did not do the crime, right. but your friends, people yeah. that were close to you did. Wow, yeah. And because yeah. they were your friends yeah. and you indulged with them, some of them even pointed you out. Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. They pointed you out. And even after that, you still kind of were a little bit friendly with them. Yes. It brought problems even with your parents and yeah, stuff. It brought yeah. a lot of issues. Yes. And then just the course of life is what made you guys go different ways. Yeah. But something came on you because of what they did. Wow. There is a brain fog thing that comes over you. Yes. Can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> It's like your mind just goes blank. Thank, yeah, I can't remember. This oh. thing, do you know when it started? No, but it's been happening for a while. After that event happened with your friends, that's when that thing started. Wow. Focusing, you can't. No, no. Nope. Doing anything, you can't. No. It opened an opportunity for the enemy to mess you up, but you'll be free today. Amen. Amen. You see, if God doesn't go into the background of what happened, we're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Because what you're facing now is major, major, strong limitation. That's true. Big time limitation. Yes. So God will make you free oh, today. Oh, thank you, Jesus, yes. But also, God is not just making you free, but um, how many siblings do you have? Is it just the two of you? I have a brother. God wanted to heal your father because of you. So, I didn't understand it at first. Wow. So I asked you, this I'm seeing sick. Said, I, I don't really know. But let me tell you what God showed me. Let me talk to mom, because mom is here. Now, your husband is a good man, but he's a stubborn man. Very stubborn. <laughs> yeah, very, very stubborn man, yes. Extremely a stubborn Extremely man. Extremely stubborn. And it is his stubbornness that has put him in the place of sickness that he is in. Yes, I know. He's too difficult. Very difficult. You will follow after God, he will resist. Oh, yes. You want to pray, but he will resist. Yes. But I am praying for him because I want him to live long. Amen. Yes. And I want God to save him. Yes. Because my eyes were opened in the spirit. Ah, there we go. What purifies blood? Kidney. Kidneys, right? Mm. 
I saw the enemy planting an infection within his kidneys. It is an attack within the kidneys mm -hmm. because what the enemy has tried to use him, used to destroy him is as a sickness within the blood. And uh, this can be blood sugar, diabetes, or that kind of thing. Eh? He has diabetes. Because I'm seeing his kidneys are being affected by reason of this sickness. Because I saw a dark mist around him here. And the angel of the Lord is clarifying to me, is telling me, no, his kidneys are also under attack because of what is happening with his blood. Another thing that I'm seeing that is developing with him is his sight is being affected, especially his left eye. Mm -hmm. Especially his left eye mm -hmm. is being affected by all this. But the problem is the man is very difficult. Yes. yes. But he loves the Lord. Extremely. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we yeah. can't be difficult. We need help. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to pray for him, Mama, and God is going to help him. Amen. And then I want to pray for you also. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Where did you guys live in LA or you traveled? New York, Georgia. Oh, yeah. and Mama? <laughs> New York. We were New in York. Florida the other day oh, when you went there. Okay. We're in Miami. Okay. Miami. Oh, you're in Miami. Miami. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I want to pray for you, for this young one. Okay. Especially to do with his dad. Yes. <laughs> it's true. That's where yes. most of the problems are. Yes. And the boy is a sweet boy, but I'm seeing him becoming a little mm -hmm. because of the father stuff. But there is something that will be cancelled. Okay. That transferred from the father to him. Okay. That God will give him a different turnaround. That his outcome will not be like where he oh, came thank from. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But also for you, that God will give you a new beginning. Thank you, Jesus. That you will not be in the past anymore. Yes. Uh, are you listening to me? Yes. So I'm going to pray for the family apostle. Yes, sir. If you can just touch the family, because it's not prophetic service, but I had to really do it because of her and because of the husband. So, come, 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 buddy, come, come to me. Let me pray for him. Father, bless this little one. Cause him, Father, his journey to be different. Increase him with every good blessing. Make him strong. Make him wise. Let what was in the family not follow him, but give him a new chapter and a new beginning. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, you can go to Mama. Mama, you're blessed. You don't need prayer. <laughs> Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen.